Go again, you everyone. The Starlight Let's Play is here. Welcome to part 37 of Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. We are finishing this playthrough before 2022, damn it. Anyway, in the last video, we showed off. Anyway, in the last video, I showed off all the dream events. So now it's time we continue on with the story. We're going for the good ending this time. CPUs, four of them. This is a dark CPU. They're way bigger than I thought. Damn right they are. To save them. That's easy. It looks like they're not moving, so we can just destroy those things, Nep Nep, and the others are in. Hey, yeah, I saved y'all a bunch of time. I had to skip all the um. I had to skip all the backtracking and and the cutscenes that you've already seen in the last part, in the last few parts. So, yeah. A lot of different things. But I think breaking them is the only solution. Any normal attack won't scratch them. This is a sacred place. Well, I'm sure Big Nepsy was the one to guide you all here. If I knew she would do this, I would have disposed of her sooner. And yes, I know you've seen the same cutscenes, but again, this is the uh, normal ending route. Hurry up and let him go! We'll have you explain the reasons you decided to manipulate us too! I don't really care about those specifics. I'm just here to beat you up. Oh, you were all simply for entertainment. The world would have become more chaotic if you had fallen into delusion after all. This was all just a game to you? That's the big reason you toyed with us? That's right. But the entire lot of you completely disappointed me. So, I'll be killing you all along with that annoying me over there. You're starting to become eyesores. Damn. <laughs> You're gonna kill me? I don't know what you know about me, but I have share energy with me now. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm the same as before, faker! That's right. You changed the world so you could receive share energy from monsters, didn't you? Then let's become one, me. We were originally one person. Why don't we return to being one? That way, both the share energy I obtained and the negative energy I hold will all be mine. Both the despair of the ignorant masses and their slight hope will become my strength. What the hell is she saying? Now, hurry and come to me. Together, let's exact revenge on the idiots of game industry who betrayed us. Uh... I told you, I don't understand anything you're saying. Like how I take part in revenge that has nothing to do with me. I see. Your memories haven't completely come back yet. But that's understandable. I carry all your lost memories after all. What? Is this true? Didn't I say it just now? We used to be one. If you have no memory of being betrayed and suffering, then I'll make you remember. Uh. Uzume so late! Kill her! Kill Uzume! Kill her before we're all destroyed! I was lying! She's not a CPU! She's a demon! And we had such high hopes because she was a new CPU! Are you okay, Uzume? Pull yourself together, Uzume. Wh what is this? My head. These are my memories? You've received considerably more memories than you had. You'll probably need time for your mind and heart to understand it all. We have time. As a reward for making it this far, I'll tell something to you poor souls who only know the false history of your world. The history of the CPU who was betrayed by the masses and buried into darkness. 
CPUs are born from the share energy created from game industry's hopes and desires. In essence, they are goddesses created from people's wishes. But they betrayed me. Even though they created me, they saw me as an inconvenient, frightening, abhorrent existence. So, they plotted to annihilate me. And when they realized that it was impossible, they had me sealed away. And, of all things, they made me their tarnished history, making it as if I never existed, and started seeking a new CPU. That is why I vowed revenge on those selfish masses, and on game industry. And wouldn't you know, as if drawn by my hatred, instead of gathering shares, negative emotions became my energy. So, I used both those emotions and my powers of delusion to grant their wish, like a true CPU. I erased any memory and record of myself from game industry, changing history itself from its foundation. The ignorant people, who have now forgotten my existence, then created a new CPU, Uranus. And you are... Yes. I am Planetune CPU, Uzume Tanoboshi. That's the truth. Do you understand now? Then Neil, you're too arrogant as my mere juniors. Oh damn. What? My body's heavy. No, this is the feeling of being pulled. Gravity? You as well, me. Trying to stand up to me when you're nothing but my dregs. Laughable. And now, the big reveal. This world, Heart Dimension, is a place created in the heart of my sealed and sleeping self. Or rather, it's inside a dream I'm having. After all, the nightmare of me destroying game industry is the basis of Heart Dimension. The world you call Zero Dimension doesn't actually exist. That place is just outside of this one, like an entrance. That's why it's incredibly simple for me to manipulate what happens here. That's not possible. That's just nonsense! To make this a reality. This is my delusional power. It's the sole reason I was feared by all. The reason they tried to get rid of me. I've spent an interminable time living in this world. And one day, it just dawned on me. Even if I can't break my seal from the outside, if this world has become its own dimension, I could destroy its boundaries and go to hyperdimension. But that was when a single irregular event occurred. That was me. I don't fully know the cause. A part of my psyche, or my soul rather, suddenly separated from me and a piece of my existence was birthed. And then, of all things, I began trying to prevent dimensional destruction by the dark CPU. Thanks to that, my plan of destroying this dimension and going to hyperdimension ended in failure. But there was a more important discovery. Whenever I received more share energy as power, I myself would power up. What? Then, what do you know? I started being able to see events in hyperdimension more clearly, and for a short time materialized there. Although, I had no physical form there. I couldn't touch anything, almost like a hologram. But it was more than enough. From there, I came up with a method of fusing the two dimensions to materialize in hyperdimension without breaking my seal. That's why, in order to gain more power, I prepared by sending Arcor out so that I could gather more strength. It was a so-called play I created of me, adventuring through zero dimension. I thank you for your discovery and help, Scrubs. Away! I can't believe the things we did to save zero dimension were actually giving you more strength! Everything has been plotted out from the beginning. It was almost like raising cattle. I gave you feed, let you fertilize, I made a meal of you. And that became a part of me. <sighs> That's right. I have Gold Third to thank as well. Thanks to the Golden Summits becoming markers, I was able to guide this dimension's movement towards hyperdimension. Along with the shift period, when faith in CPUs lowers temporarily, spreading negative rumors lowered the need for CPUs entirely. So, game industry, which needs CPUs to survive, created the Golden Summits to give birth to new protectors as part of a survival instinct. The peculiar signal that the Golden Summits radiate is rare in multidimensional space, so it's traceable from other dimensions. So... That means Gold Third and Appymax were all dancing on the palm of your hand. 
Scum. You've remembered everything now, right, me? Let's exact revenge together. If the two dimensions fuse, the dark CPUs can materialize within hyperdimension. With me controlling negative energy, me controlling share energy, and the power of the CPU that Krar holds. If I possess these three powers, we could rule over game industry forever! We can eternally torture the world, those selfish masses. We'll transform the world to a whirlpool of delusion where strife never ends! I refuse! Who'd help a bastard like you after hearing that awful story? Me being me, or me being me? I don't care about that confusing crap! I came here to save Nepsi and the others. Nothing more, nothing less. If I'm really the previous CPU of Planetune, then I have to look after my juniors like a legitimate predecessor would. How disappointing. If I had my power, I could have dragged game industry further into a whirlpool of delusion. Then, I don't need me. Disappear. You wanna go? We've got you outnumbered. Outnumbered? Who really has the superior numbers here? Hmm. R4? A whole bunch of them even? I told you, didn't I? We're inside my own dream. I'm in full control of the creation you see all around. It's very simple to create puppets like these from my past memories. How do they look? Quite nostalgic, no? This one did give me a lot of trouble before, but now she makes for a very good pawn. It doesn't matter! We won't back down! But don't get too excited. The others have just fallen into delusion. It's a perfect time for them to enter. Yahoo! Neptune has revived! Jeez, there's something wrong with you to confine us like that for so long. Agreed. But I feel as though I've been born anew. I wonder why. I feel refreshed too. Neptune! I'm so glad you're safe! Ooh! It's Nepgear! I've got a killer! What? What kind of twisted joke was that? Neptune, that was too harsh and sudden. Just look! Nepgear's completely shocked! Sorry, sorry, it's just been a while since I've seen Nepgear. I couldn't help getting excited and going off the rails a bit. It'd be a waste to kill her, huh? I need to torture her and make her suffer. What are you saying, Neptune? How should I hurt you, Uni? It's so difficult to hold back just enough to keep you alive. What's wrong with you too, Noir? Rom, Ram, let me hear your screams. I want the sounds of your agonizing shrieking resounding in my head. Ron's scary. Why? Why would you say something like that too, Blonde? That's because I despise you, little brats. I despise you so much I can't contain it. Goodness, you all have it so nice getting to torture such cute sisters. Well, it cannot be helped. I will be contented with the leftovers. Aya, Kampa, and Gold Third. Who shall I choose to annihilate? Lady Bird too? Nep Junior! Nep Junior! Because I detest you, of course. Even though you're younger, people praise you as the better sister. And you constantly order me around. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Please, let go, Neptune! Oh, good. Good, Nepgear. That suffering face of yours is so very precious. I can't. No more! Are you 
okay, Nepgear? <coughs> yes. Somehow. And it was just getting good. They can't be saved right now. We have to retreat. W wait! We've made it this far. We have to save our sisters. I understand how you feel. But Metsy and the others are already... It was slight. But just now she reacted to my suffering voice. There must still be hope. Hope, huh? If Gearzy saw something like that, then I want to see how this will play out. It's too dangerous, Uzume. Besides, right now you're... I know that. Memories that are of me, but not me at the same time, are swirling in my head, and it feels gross. But that ain't as important as saving Nepsi and the others right now. Then I'll bet on that chance, too. We will, too! We came all this way to save our sister! We're not gonna go back! Right, Rom? Neither am I. If Nep won't listen, then I'll make her, even if I have to punch her. It'd be... As usual, you never go easy on Nep Nep. I'll help as well. I don't know this anymore, <laughs> and I need to get my friend back. I'm Blani's partner, too. If she strays off the path, it's a partner's responsibility to straighten her out. You're right. A hero always helps to make sure her friends are on the right path. Just wait, Nep Nep. This time, it's my turn to save you. How rare. To think he would work for free for someone besides children. I owe Nep Nep a lot, after all. Besides, we can't show the kids the CPUs in this state. So what about you, Esha? Of course I'm saving them. Wow, that's unexpected coming from Esha, the disinterested diva. Esha's also saying she doesn't want to see Vert in such a state. Besides, you don't need a reason to help people. Then it's unanimous. Just wait, Nepsy. We're all gonna wake you up! All right, here we go. Yes, as you, as you can see, the cutscenes was, the cutscene at the end was pretty different. Uh, usually it would, usually if you gone into a uh, bad ending, it would just ends with Nepgear and the others retreating. But this time, when Neptune took the shot to save Nepgear from Purple Heart's um, grip. They decided instead to just go along and they decided to just go along and with the uh with their power and just you know do the best they can to try and save their sisters, which you're seeing right now. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say right now, this is by far the hardest fight I have ever witnessed in this entire game. These, like, because the CPUs, they take so much, like, they take a lot of damage, and they take a, they take, let me say this, their attack damage takes a shitload of their, a shitload of your health, so you can die instantly through these, throughout these other battles, unless you're at the corresponding levels, which you see right now. What makes it worse is the fact that you face off against four CPUs, so it makes it even more of a chance for you dying unless you're at the corresponding level you're supposed to be at. Like I've said what I said about the Keisha fight. I said what I said about Esh the Usher fight. But oh man, this fight has to be the worst out of all of them. Omeo, light him up. That's why it takes a lot of grinding in order to get to this point. That attack, that attack alone took off almost half of my health. Jesus!
Like, my god. If you have any skills that can attack more than one person, I recommend you go for them so you can shave off their health pretty quickly, but not just go one by one. That's my suggestion. Like for instance, I'm using the Umio Heaven. That can, with this amount of range, I can take out at least one or two people. Well, any people that is in the grid. Umeo, light up. And the only way how you ever gonna get this, uh, like this skill, you have to level Uzume up to over 50. That's the only way you're ever gonna get that skill. And it's pretty useful if you ask me. And with uni skills, I say they're the, some of the best ones, mainly because, mainly because they can go for more than one opponent. Like this one right here. Look, I can go for three. Maybe I should just heal myself. Let's go. Oh shit! I know that's gonna do a lot. Go gold form. Oh god, I love when that music plays. Whenever you transform, that music plays. My god. And that should be done, right? Should be done with. What should I do? How could I lose to these guys? Watch me, please. You got White Heart down. One down, three to go. Yeah. Do I think this fight is really difficult? Yes. Do I still think it's pretty you know, like simple enough to like get the true ending on your first try if you know what you're doing with everything? Yes. Up, go! <laughs> I thought they were going to play the other sound. Oh my god, we're almost done with Blackheart. Time for Uzume to transform. Alright, let's see. I guess I'll go with the... This time I'll go for the dream combo. Oh shit. Not this! Aerial shooter. I'll finish this 
Still find it funny how even in her even in her HDD form, whenever she does that attack, her breast still bounces despite her being an A cup in that form. C Buster. And Blackheart is done. Now, go for Greenheart. Oops. I almost used the wrong move. Take this! There we go. I never miss. This will slow down. Let's have a fair fight. I'll remove the Maverick. It's over. I'm gonna let Neptune get the final hit on this one. Now I'll just use an item on everyone. Oh, I can't get. Okay, there we go. Crap, I can't get all of them, man. That's unfortunate. Great. Gear is all on you. I'll coordinate my bits for an all range attack. Uh, MVP out. I'll have to bet victory on this one hit. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, and there we go. Shouldn't have been like this. We got STR booster, INT booster. AGI booster, all at Z level. <laughs> horse horse bird dong. <laughs> My God, that amount of EXP and credits too. All oh, right, I've gotten stronger again. Why? Why won't you turn back to normal? Didn't we get along so well together? This is messed up. No matter how you look at it, snap out of it! That's God right. Damn. This is strange. Why did I loathe Nepgear so much? She's my one irreplaceable, adorable sister. I don't loathe her. I don't even dislike her. In fact, I love her. Neptune! Our voices reached her! Nepgear, I'm so sorry. I, for some reason, I felt I hated you. So I said things I never meant. No, it's okay. I'm just glad that you're back to normal. Do you mean to tell me they pulled the CPUs out of the whirlpool of delusion? I don't know what you mean by whirlpool, but if they've fallen, we'll just keep pulling them out. This senior's looking after her juniors. Don't get full of yourself, me. You're just the chap that's separated from me. Stop. Don't make me hate Nepgear anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to hate her. I'm not myself anymore then. Help me, Nepgear. Uzume. Uh, no more! Stop! I don't even know if I love or hate Uni anymore! Stop it, you piece of crap! Stop pushing any more strange things into me! What I should love. 
is being stained in hatred. No, I don't want to hate or loathe. I can't control my emotions. Help someone before we stop being ourselves. It seems your resistance was useless, me. Now do you understand that I'm my leftovers? Don't get soft, the lot of you! Your sisters are trying so hard to call to you. Try to do something with your own strength. If you aren't capable of saving yourselves, then can you call yourself CPUs? Uzume. Jeez, you guys are such a pain. Then all of you, wish on my share crystal. Pray that we can save Nepsi and the others. What are you trying to do? If negative energy breeds hate in hearts, then the opposite share energy should erase it. Let's just see whose feelings are stronger. What are you doing? You don't get it? I'll take everyone's prayers, their shares, and stuff them into this share crystal I have. Oh You're shit. Are a share crystal? That is impossible. <laughs> don't underestimate my illusion powers, me. Come on, return to normal, juniors. I'll give you enough hopes and dreams that you won't lose to despair and nightmares. You ain't just turning them into normal. Instead, you're just turning them into their next forms. What are these forms? You've got to be kidding me. We crammed so much freaking negative energy into them. You're telling me that they used enough energy to neutralize that? Neutralize? You wish. I completely erased it. Well, the fact that they changed forms was kind of unintentional. But hey, I'll take it. Yeah, that's the, that's the first time I've ever seen these next forms. We were able to get out of the whirlpool of delusion. It isn't anything big. I just gave a little helping hand. You pulled yourselves out. Hey, asshole. How dare you try and make us hate the ones we love? We will thoroughly return the favor for having toyed with us. And you can keep the change. Oh my god, come on! They seriously have are they seriously not did a double take on that line or just said? I mean, I get what she meant, but still, that did not sound great. I get that a 5 out of 10. Alright, Neptune or Blonde Invert has joined us. Caution Sunshine, okay. Planet to for us of art. Oh, I'm gonna show that off as well. I got a bunch of moves to show off. I just noticed we just got through with a battle. They feel so under leveled, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to use them in battle. And of course, we're putting the candidates up in there as well. So uni in as well. So oh, there we go. Do I four health? I need to uh, heal them as as well. Although I can't really heal them. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Everything's uh, fine and dandy. use a skill. Damn. They did damage! God damn! 
About time we do some damage, finally. Damn it. Okay, there we are. Hopefully you don't miss. Yes. Now, what shall I do? Jump here. And use in between spear. <laughs> I like how it does a lot of damage. Jump here. There we go. Now there's the skill. Oh. Go for critical edge. Fall slash. That's a lot of slog. So much, so much energy to that EXE drive. I, don't fight. I gotta admit, they got some big ass hands too. <laughs> Especially Noir and Blind. Not to mention that suit Noir's wearing is really hugging her titties. Blaster controller. I'll finish it with this. Much so uh, slog. Piece of crap. <laughs> Piece of crap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that almost killed... That almost killed Purple Heart. This last one.
Next. There we go. Damn, right it was. Woo! Neptune almost died there. Nice one. We leveled up a... Oh, and the Lily rank ranked up for Neptune in the War. It'll be me. You're still trying to bluff, even now. Bluff, huh? Witness it with your own eyes. Look at the dimensional coordinates. Could it be? No way! The dimensions have gotten even closer than before! Why did this happen so quickly? It's thanks to all of you being in this dimension. I had no interference, and it's progressed quite wonderfully. It's disappointing I couldn't get you CPUs to fall. But now I can finally enter hyperdimension without restrictions. Was that the objective of moving this dimension? That's correct. When two different dimensions end in the same position, they fuse and become a new dimension. By doing this, even a spirit like me can have a physical form in hyperdimension. Even more so, because I drew in a vast amount of hyperdimension share energy, I can now materialize there for a short time. Let's go, Claude. Oh, finally going to hyperdimension, huh? I've been waiting. We'll meet again. Next time we meet, I'll show you my true self, released from my seal. You're running away? Uh, where are my manners? Here, please accept this parting gift. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> it's us? I created them from your dreams. But it seems I created too many. Whoops. Oh, come on. Them, so do as you please. See you suckers later. They made shit ton of noirs in Ultra Dimension. By an Anand... Well, I can't really say that. Although an Anand was surrounded by a bunch of noirs. I'd like to go after them ASAP. In this game, Keisha made a shit ton of noirs. And now at this point in this game, we see a shit ton of noirs, Neptune's Verts and Blondes. Dang it, Krusty, you big dummy! <laughs> then leave this place to us. Nepgear, Gold Third, and everyone else. Return to Hyper Dimension. Us? You're right. These fakes only have strength in numbers. We can handle this. Although, even if they are fakes, won't you have some hesitation to fight people who look like your sisters? Whatever. Come on, hurry and go. If you don't hurry, the dimensions will completely fuse. I understand. Let's go, everyone. That's right, Gearsy. Take this just in case. A share crystal? It's leftover from what I just created. If you have this, you should be able to activate the sharing field without me. If you end up fighting the dark CPU, use that thing. Okay. Hey now, we won't let you go any further. Your opponents aren't just the CPUs. Iffy, Kampa, why are you two still here? Didn't you leave with Nepgear? We can't leave behind clumsy dorks who let their guard down and get captured. Now can we? God damn, Iffy! <laughs> Thank you, both of you. I do gotta, I do admire, um, I do admire Ify and Kampa's dedication to stay with Neptune no matter what. Uh, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> this is a part where we get into two different routes here. We have the Heart Dimension route and the Hyper Dimension route. So, uh, yeah, stick around, um, as we complete both of these routes. Um, I'm gonna be doing the Heart Dimension route first, and then I'll start off with the Hyper Dimension route. Until then, it's the Starlight Let's Player signing out, as always, Goku Ginyo, and have a star-tastic day, everyone. What you want, tell me what you need. She gon' party like she in the swingin' 70s. Now I'm riding through the sunset just like I'm a boss. We be riding all for night. Girl, let's take it slow. Just wanna make sure that you come. Call you my princess, I'm your prince Just to let you know You're such a hottie, you could be in a fashion show Girl, let's take it slow Just wanna